going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on how to install a HODL tip. I'm going to be showing you some of the items I'll be using to install a HODL tip. And this is going to be the jump tip. As you can see, this one is a whitish color to it. And this is the brake tip. It has a golden tint to it. And these are the items I'll be using. So I'll be, I use a CA super glue and it's a thick kind. And of course I use an accelerator and then sandpaper. This is 500 grit, 500 and then 1200 just to polish the ferrule and the tip itself and to burnish it uh, use leather this sandpaper is uh, 120 it sands the back side of the tip itself you use for both and this is uh, this is just wet uh, paper towel a brand new razor blade this is optional for polishing also the tip and the ferrule this is Q-Wax and of course alcohol to wipe down the tip once you sand it and to wipe down the, the ferrule to get it ready for the CA and of course I'll be using you'll be using the paper towel to wipe it down the shaft is already prepped on the lay itself and I'll be using and I'll be installing the the brake tip on the shaft first I like to get the sandpaper this is the 120 and sand the back side of the tip itself Ensuring you have a flat surface. And then you get your paper towel and your alcohol to wipe down the tip itself. Get rid of all that grit. And you want to verify that the tip is flat. Use the bed of the lay or you can use a razor blade. And what you're doing is you're putting the razor blade and you're seeing if any light passes through. So you get another paper towel, wipe down the ferrule itself. I like using another paper towel to lay it on the bed of the lay. So if I use in, if I spill any CA, it won't go on the bed. And now, all you need is a little bit of CA on the tip itself. I like to swirl it around the ferrule. And make sure the whole back side of the tip is coated. And now you just use the tailstock to put pressure on the tip itself. You don't want to put too much pressure and ooze out the the glue and you wanna you won't get a good bond. So now I just use the accelerator, spray it on the Tip furl itself, another paper towel, wipe down the excess. And the tip's already on. Now we can actually cut the tip. I'm gonna cut it down close to the ferrule itself and then use the razor blade to get it flush.
once I get it close I also like cutting the tip to make it a little bit shorter on the top side Now I'm going to use the razor blade to get it flush to the ferrule. So I'm going to slide the shaft. And then with a brand new razor blade, and that's why I like using wet paper towel. Once it's flush, now to shape it. Get your sandpaper. I use the 120, and then your 500. And the two hundred and the Q X. to varnish it.
We're gonna go ahead and remove the shaft from the lay and check it and check how the installation looked. Here's the installed tip. This is the brake tip with the G10 ferrule. See how flush it is on the ferrule itself. And I like making the tip a little bit flat for braking itself. I think it breaks better that way. And you can see how it shortened the tip itself. Hopefully this video is informative. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye.